In this video, we're going to take a look at linking a CAD file in so that we can begin the background documentation for our architectural project here. So the first thing I want to do with importing and linking CAD files, we're going to come into our Insert tab and we're going to come down to Link CAD. It's going to bring up our menu here and I just want to go over a couple things. I'm going to browse out and I'm just going to find my first floor. I was in my first floor view here in Revit and I want to go ahead and insert the background from CAD file A1 and I just want to come down here and I do want to let you know that there are here are the file types that you can link to a Revit model. Um, I did want to point out SketchUp files can be inserted as well. Um, and this is the same dialog box that you would come in to insert those files as well. But we're going to stick with our DWG backgrounds for our project. But the colors here, there's a couple of different options. You can invert the colors, you can preserve the colors that were set up by the layers in your AutoCAD drawing, or you can convert it to black and white before you go ahead and import everything. As well as if you're familiar with the AutoCAD drawing that you're going to be inserting, you can go ahead and you could specify particular layers on and off in that drawing. But we're just going to go ahead and link all of the layers that are in that drawing so that everything comes in to our background for the building that we're going to begin to draft. The units, you can go ahead and leave on auto detect. Revit is very good about especially converting and bringing in AutoCAD drawings. I mean, AutoCAD is an Autodesk product as well, so the compatibility is not a not an issue with that program. And the positioning, I tend to leave it on this auto center to center. Um, and it's going to place it by default at the first floor. If I meant to place it at maybe the basement level, I could change that. But it's good practice to get used to selecting the view that you want to insert your AutoCAD background into first. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And wait for Revit to go ahead and link the CAD file. Linking allows us the opportunity if anything in this CAD file would change. Revit is creating a path back to this A1 drawing wherever I have it stored. So you do want to be careful to make sure that you have the drawings that you're linking to that you do have them in a location where they are actually traveling with this Revit model if you're working remotely from a thumb drive or something. And now you can see here's the background. The next thing I do want to go over is kind of how we manipulate this AutoCAD drawing now that we've brought it in. So the next piece we'll do is we'll kind of come to visibility and graphics for this view that we're in. And I'm just going to click edit. And now we have an imported categories field t tab. I'm sorry. And you'll see our drawing A1 drawing is now listed here in visibility. And I can, I'll just drag this over a little bit, but I can actually uncheck the entire drawing and click apply to turn that background off if I want, just want to see my Revit model. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. And then here are the layers that exist in that drawing and we can begin to toggle them on and off as it relates to where we are kind of in the drafting of our background. You'll see the existing and the new kind of the new layers of structural grid. So as we get started in laying out the structure, you could potentially turn off some of the interior wall partitions just to decrease the busyness of the drawing for yourself. So that's how you access the displaying of your AutoCAD background and insert in the drawing. I do want to go ahead and come up to my second floor and let's let's just go ahead and repeat the process for this building and I'm going to link this CAD file as well. This time we're going to use the A2 drawing. The other settings are good for for us and we're going to just check that our backgrounds do in fact overlap and you'll see that they are not coordinated 
uh, based on the origin insertion point. So I'm just going to align all the building plans with the first floor. And I want us to do that. We're just going to quickly come up here to modify. And we're going to use our align for this. I'm just going to click on my align tool. And I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to go ahead and select. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this background. But I'm going to go ahead and select an exterior surface. So we'll just start up here in this corner. And I'm going to select the grid line. And we're going to move the background that we just inserted of that second floor over. And I believe at this point our backgrounds should line up. Let's just scroll, scroll around a little bit and take a look. But I believe by taking a look at some of the stair towers in this building that we now have backgrounds that overlap properly. So you do want to make sure that your backgrounds are aligned so that as you begin to model this building and draft the interior layouts that you do have backgrounds that are laying over each other properly. So you'll just repeat this step for any other levels of your building as well. I hope this video on inserting your CAD files has been helpful.